So the R12i is great for topo. It opens up a whole new way of doing these surveys that we do and a different way of taking observations. Within Trimble Access, it's still the same as it always has been. We either take a topo point, which takes multiple observations, so we'd set an amount of time, or a rapid point. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna take rapid points. As we know in the past, what we've had to do is set up on a point, get the rod level, and take the observation. The glory of the R12i is we don't need to worry about this bubble. It's all about where the tip of the rod is. That allows us to get points we've never been able to get before, such as this location here. It also significantly speeds up our workflow as we don't need to worry about this level. So simply putting the rod down, taking the shot, paying attention to where that is, is all we need to be doing. Observation stored. Observation stored. Observation stored. Observation stored. Observation stored. Another common workflow for the surveyor out doing a topo is picking up features. So the likes of this bank would be an important one to get the elevations. So let's just run through the top uh, and the bottom of this bank. We'll show you how quick it is, how easy, and just how efficient it is with the R12i to get these observations. So starting with the bottom, typically, as we were saying, we'd have to level up. Here, we don't need to be paying attention to the level. You can take that shot. It means a lot less movement in the field for the surveyor, a lot less thinking, and a significant time saving with the ability to move faster through the shots. Observation stored. Observation stored. Observation stored. It also simplifies it because surveyors only need to pay attention to the tip of the rod, but also that frees up time and the ability to look at the precisions on screen. So the surveyor can pay attention to what's important. Instead of watching this level bubble, we just needed to pay attention to what we're observing and our precisions. Another common workflow, and a, what's been a challenge for surveyors in the past, is picking up the likes of centerline of a bush or something that's difficult to observe. Could even be the likes of a manhole where you can't get that invert. But traditionally, this is a shot that's been very difficult for a surveyor to pick up. We'd often have to do the likes of ties and offsets to it, but now with the R12i, its ability to tilt, but also the ability to get difficult shots in harsh environments, we can pick up the center line of this bush. Observation stored. So in the past, it's something we wouldn't have been able to do, certainly not with the GNSS. We're seeing here really good precisions. We're looking in the millimeter range, currently around about 14 millimeters, both horizontal and vertical which is very acceptable for a point like this. <coughs> we'll pick up another one in this area here. And again, in this thick environment, we're seeing 14 millimeters, 15 millimeters vertically, 19 millimeters horizontally. Really impressive. And that's down to the ProPoint engine that's in the R12i. The reason we're able to get the center line of the bush is because of the tip technology, the inertial platform to get that tilted measurement. So the combination of those two technologies are allowing us to do things that we've never done before. Significantly changing the way that we work and also improving our efficiency in the field. If we look around at what we're surveying here, getting shots like this have actually been near impossible in the past. We can see a very, very large uh, coniferous tree here. We're also got a building to our east and this is thick green canopy as well. ProPoint engine shines in these conditions. It allows us to get shots we've never got before. Combined with the tilt capabilities of the R12i we can access shots that we've never been able to either. Another really good example for a surveyor of something that's been difficult if not impossible to pick up in the past is a building corner particularly with a GNSS system. Reasons for that. 
obviously it's inaccessible. We can't get level over the building corner. Also, the likes of this building here being tall, we have no access to the satellites in the sky. So getting a position is difficult. With the ProPoint engine, we're allowed or able to get those positions far better than anything we've ever been able to do before. And with the tilt, we can also get in to get that building corner. So let's pick up this corner as an example. Again, all we're concentrating on here is the position of the tip of the rod. We can see that our residuals are good, they're coming down here. And we can take a shot, that easy. In the past, it has almost literally been impossible, using a GNS system at least. We would have had to set control and come back with a total station or we'd have to set a couple of points and take tires to the building corner. This way we can actually pick up accurately, both horizontally and vertically, the position that we're needing. Another good example is picking up a point that's in the past difficult to even reach. So a surveyor can't get up and they can't see the level bubble. Observation stored just that easy to pick it up. Another one is an internal corner, even more difficult and even with the total station that's difficult to get. It would require a specific setup but with the R12i once again because we can just put the tip of the rod where we need to take the observation we can get this receiver out into the satellites and get a good position we can take the observation. It's just that easy it's changed how we survey as a surveyor. We can pick up these points we have never been able to in the past. The R12i is available today. Contact your local Trimble distributor if you want a demo or if you're ready to buy.